<coughs> hello morning friends as uh, we have committed to our viewers subscribers and followers that will cover the uh, all the fund accounting concepts or banking concepts or products which will help you to understand the products in details as well as which will help you to crack the interview as well because 90% professionals they are not aware about the products how the pro products exactly work at the back end okay so that we want to cover it and we want to yes make you capable to crack the interview as well as do the job as well so today we are going to discuss about concept number one which is a very important one and would be about the securitization so basically that we called mortgage backend securities asset backend securities and the uh, real estate mortgage backend securities also real estate include uh, that there would be two categories uh, commercial mortgage backend securities or residential mortgage backend securities so we'll basically we'll see this the how this mortgage uh, backend securities or spv the banks created or how it's work and all so we'll see and i'm sure after that so you would be able to understand so what is the securitization as well as you would be able to uh, even answer to the questions if someone asked to you in the interview so i would say just you know watch this entire video till the end if you miss it then you won't be able to understand how it is exactly work apart from that i would request you if you like this initiative please do subscribe to youtube channel and do comment and forward to others who are looking for the same content or who are looking for a job because if you learned you should always this spread means always good things you should spread to others because uh, we took one initiative to initiate this uh, you know entire uh, channel and all for you so we would request you please you do also take one step and forward this content to others and let them also learn it okay so without uh, without taking much time i'll take you ahead and we'll discuss about what is exactly concept of asset securitization see it's a very simple <clears throat> if we take the example of any institutions or any banks especially what is their main business if you take the example of bank so what is their main business can you just imagine to accept the deposit and to offer the loans am i right so if this is the main business of a bank let's say bank received a 1000 crore deposit and they have disbursed the same similar amount to the uh, home loan account maybe personal loan auto loan and different loans credit cards and all now if the bank accepted deposit of rupees 1000 crore and disbursed the loans of rupees or booked the loans of rupees 1000 crore so it means in the bank's account there is no amount to run the other operations and this amount it will take time to recover from the borrowers almost if you take the example of home loans so the duration of a home loans average duration would be around 20 to 25 so it means banks required to get the all entire amounts in the bank's account at least 20 years to get the entire amount i know that within a, a 10 years of time span bank will recover their amount but still and if you see this loans amount that the bank called it's an asset for a bank why asset can you just think See, the deposits would be the liability. The, when the depositor deposit the amount in the bank, that deposit amount would be liability for a bank. <clears throat> because bank is entitled to pay that liability whenever the depositor send the request for withdrawal. And the similar way, the bank when they issued loan to the borrower, so that borrowed amount that the loan amount bank treat as assets because that is an asset for a bank and for a borrower that would be loan amount that would be liability and that's the reason borrower pay that amount on a monthly basis right so that's the reason if, if you're using a credit card so you know this better or if you have any personal loan then you know this better if you apply for a loan and if you 
if you uh, if you get a loan amount what you do after that the process would be every month we pay the principal and interest payment to the bank and what is that then for a bank it's an asset see if you want to understand this concept thing from the bank perspective and why we are discussing from a fund perspective we'll see that as well because most of the funds most of the funds especially private equity funds and hedge funds they invest into abs abs rmbs uh, and then uh, mbs or special purpose vehicles because these vehicles they offer attractive interest payment fixed or floating interest payments to the uh, investors because those would be the investors later on with this uh, all the securities abs mbs and all so that's the reason even if you are a, if you are on a fund accountant you would know this better so how we do uh, accounting for all these financial instruments but the my point here is if you don't know the financial instrument in detail then you won't be able to apply the accounting treatment to this abs mbs and other uh, kind of such securities right so so the point here is all loans issued loans should be the asset for a bank and all the deposits would be the liabilities for a bank and even you can check that on a bank's balance sheet as well just go and check it how they do the accounting for a deposits as well as for a loans amount see banks main business is to generate the cash flow how it's a basic logic from deposit and loans bank will accept the deposit at 5% per annum and offer the loan at 15% per annum see this the 10% would be cash flows for a bank that's how bank generate the money right because bank accept the deposit go into the market find a deals make a negotiation and issue the home loans personal loans credit cards to the customers or to the borrowers or who are looking for this facility the bank offer that facility to them so it's a very simple logic right and later on bank what they can do and if they don't have a other funds to operate or other funds to to invest see for a bank it's it's a core business is to offer the loan as much as they can if they accept the deposit and if the deposit amount is high and the loan amount is again low so it means bank won't be able to generate the alpha or generate the positive cash flows from this business why because the deposit amount is a very high so on which bank will have to pay see the entire deposit amount then bank bank will have to return to the customer apart from that bank will have to pay 5% interest payment on entire deposit amount along with the cost maintenance cost office cost everything so bank will have to bear it so it means bank would be in a trouble so so when you can securitize this loans when you can convert this loans into abs mbs or indentures or document or any paper how how you can do this and when you can do this see if you have a if your business if the bank in a positions to sell the loans or if the there are in there are customers there are borrowers who are approaching you to offer a loan facility to them see if you don't have a demand for a particular loans and all then you cannot convert your entire loans into securitization part why because if you don't have a see see if you have a amount in account then why will you do this just think from this aspect if you have everything then why will you do this no right so it means when you can do this when if there is a demand of again 1000 crore capital or the amount which you have a customers who are looking for a loan from you or if you take the example of let's say hdfc bank let's say hdfc bank has a order for 1000 crore amount and the business is very sound and bank is more interested in this vehicle uh, the balance sheet and the other factors of a business particular business a very sound and bank is more interested in to provide loan facility to them and but but the current when we look at the current picture bank has a no amount in the bank's book so the what the bank uh, will have other options to 
See, bank cannot ask for a loan to other banks. Simple, because the rate would be high and that would be, nobody can offer the loans for a 20 years or 10 years and all. So what the bank can do, bank can convert this 1000 crore loans, 1000 crore loans into securitization part. And that securitization we called EBS, MBS, RMBS and other spe special purpose vehicles and all. So we'll see that exactly in the image how it's work. Okay. So as I, uh, as I mentioned, all the loans, all the loans that you can convert, all the loans you can convert into, <clears throat> into uh, EBS form, MBS form. RMBS form. Okay, so what is the difference in EBS, MBS, RMBS and all? If the bank is converting all the home loans, let's say 10 lakh, 10 lakh, 5 lakhs. So this 25 lakhs loans if the bank convert into a securitization through the securitization process so that loans we call mbs because those are from mortgage industry or mortgage segment so it means for a back end the mortgage back end securities where you can see the home loans the banks already provided or offered <coughs> sorry so the now bank is converting that's 25 lakhs loan amount along with the interest payment that the bank offered to the uh, home loan owners. So it would be around let's say 15% or 10% whatever it is. If you just consider it, let's say uh, 7 to 8, 8%. So that 8% bank will convert this entire loans into EBS. So that EBS we call the mortgage backend securities. Now here you may expect questions on. So what is a mortgage backend security? In an interview, you may expect questions. Let's say uh, if you're looking for a loan syndication business, if you're looking for a loan processes or any other uh, loan operations or maybe debt, a CLO or CDO, collateralized debt obligations uh, process or collateralized loan obligation process where 110% you may expect questions on an EBS, what is the EBS or MBS and how it's work. So you can just put example this, right? So you can narrate this, the all EBC, if these are the home loans, so bank will convert these three loans into one tranche. So that tranche we call, we call that is mortgage backend security. And why we call mortgage backend security? Because so security, it means e MBS. It's a document. Okay. So I will show you that the document as well. So that document has a value or back end, back end of this particular mortgage back end security. There are loans and that loans are the assets for a bank. So it means bank is issuing a document on this particular loans. Simple. And then what is the difference between EBS and MBS then? abs see if the bank is converting all the loans like auto loans credit cards home loans right then the other different uh, machinery loans and all if the banks is creating the pool for all the loans so that all loans we call asset backend securities so it's i would say the mortgage backend security is the uh, uh is the specific you know uh, the security which is coming from the home loan industry only but here with the abs you are converting the all the loans <clears throat> let's say auto loans 100 rupees or 100 crore or let's say credit card uh, the loans that the bank issued already and that the value of the loans is around 100 so it means 200 crore if you plus this so there's 200 you can convert into the abs process would be remain same everything would be remain same the point here is it's a collection of a different loans that we are converging into a one document so that document would be asset backend securities right i'm sure that now you have a better understanding about the ebs and mbs then what about sir the rmbs real estate mortgage backend securities 
so here you may see the two classes you can write it down guys because those points i cannot provide you in notes and all so you can write it down because you may expect if you're looking for a loan operations or mortgage or trade settlement or any other fund accounting businesses and all for a middle office operation so definitely here you may expect questions on those areas right so you should know this how it's work and all every time you just question us hey, can you please provide me questions and answers so during the session so why don't you write it just write it down make a note of it if i say important that would be important you may expect questions on it so i don't want any any uh, further that the process that i'll explain separately no if i say important you should write it and this would be for a 0 to 10 or 20 years of experience people you may expect same questions if you look for this maybe if you are looking for avp vp and other processes so they may ask questions lots of questions on this what is the difference between abs and mbs if you have a high experience you may expect comparative questions or how you can create a pool and also we'll see that as well but so this is like a basic framework behind the scene i would say of the abs mbs and other rmbs instruments okay so the rmbs here you may see the two categories which is residential mortgage backend securities and commercial mortgage backend securities for example as we know all that we uh, if you're working with xyz company so every company hold a physical office right every company hold a physical office and let's say your company uh, took a loan from the hdfc bank to build that entire construction so if and the similar way there are other tcs infosys and other offices they also apply for a loan so their loans categorized will be the commercial mortgage backend securities correct so those loans banks will convert into the rmbs uh, sorry cm uh, cmbs commercial mortgage backend securities process would be remain same you don't need to perplex on this particular situation okay so what is the difference between them yeah the difference is little bit only that the here the loans from the commercial uh, complex or commercial office spaces will be converted into cmbs securities simple let's say infosys vipro uh, tcs take mahindra they took the loan to build their construction so it means the banks will convert their four loans into a one rmbs and that loan will issue to the other investors to raise the money simple okay then what is the difference between then rmbs residential mortgage backend securities it means guys right, simply we we all are working professionals what we do we apply for home loans why because we want the residential complex or residential home so that homes we categorize as a residential mortgage backend security so basically these are the two types of a mortgage backend security mbs has a two types that you can say rmbs and cmbs simple so separately you can see the categorization and all okay <clears throat> and for abs auto loans credit cards home loans rm uh, all the different loans commercial loans and also that the banks can convert into one asset class so that asset class we call asset backend securities hope uh, that <clears throat> now you have a better understanding about or you got my message what what is the ebs mbs rmbs and all see uh, in a process we don't require all this kind of framework so who can do this then valuers and ca uh, cfa people they actually work with the spv vehicle any case special purpose vehicle entity there would be another entity who can help banks to do the framework of all this you know loans and all so they they offer all the facilities to them and they help banks to convert the securities into this abs mbs rmbs form but in a back-end process as a trade process team or a settlement team maybe other uh, spv vehicle back-end teams and also what they do they just accept the payments or they book the securities in the system they do update the settlement date of a security in the system they accept the interest payment on a xyz securities and all they book it into the system and fund accounting teams also they want the accrued interest and the value of investment and all so they want because so they do the accounting on the basis of that right so we work on all the factors but we don't work on this actual framework designing part but you may expect questions on this also how it's work okay 
so that's the reason we have discussed this and i hope that now you you got this what is exactly the abs and mbs so i'll take you ahead <clears throat> we'll discuss the further part okay so uh, this would be the participants who would be involved in this securitization process so this is a very important guys credit rating agency creseal here you may see the jobs for a research analyst or rating analyst or CACFA they can apply with the CRISIL because this is a one of the Indian uh, research institutions. They offer this securitization process or rating process. They quarterly basis they do the evaluations of thorough or in-depth analysis of a particular financial instruments or loans especially. Right because see you it's, it's not an easy process to create the uh, the EBS and RMBS okay it's not a easy that much because the loans that the bank offered to the borrowers every loan will be evaluated by the Creasil agency or there are so many other institutions as well let's say Jeffries International Nomura again they also means they are in the same business segment S&P right market there are so many institutions who are working as a credit agencies Morgan Stanley, Zeppi Morgan, they are they are also in the same business. So they offer the credit facility, credit evaluation facility to the special purpose vehicles or banks or originators. Okay. See the originator wants money, simple. So they want money. They want money to do the business activities. They want money to do the business functions or to issue the loans in the market where they can generate the alpha for them for their depositors for the other investors who are looking for so they work as a where they actually abs and the other securities they born from the you know uh, originator originator it means especially it's a bank because they offer the loan facilities here the example if you take the example of hdfc would be the originator so they actually issue the loans in the market and later on they convert their loans into the assets and again raise the funds to do the business activities. So the credit agencies help to the banks to evaluate the loans, the issued loans in the market as well as to evaluate how or what would be the price of a securities exactly because without credit rating without credit rating it's not possible to convert the entire assets or loans into an asset we cannot do that so you require the credit ratings here the credit ratings agencies come into picture and they rate rate to the notes notes it means bonds simply ebs mbs in short we can call bonds okay combinedly we can call bonds or notes so the notes would be rated triple a a, 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 right? If it is a triple, it means most secured notes where you cannot expect high interest payment. If the risk, if the risk is low, because with a triple A, it means the company's balance sheet or the issuers or that the pools is a very strong and as well as, so there is a no a risk as such which is found while uh, or during the research so it means the rate to the product as a triple AA there would be a number of factors factors would be uh, the credit worthiness the income of a company and all because see, actually they they provide they do the rating or they do the analysis of a loans the bank which is issued let's say there are five investors or five borrowers So bank will, sorry, credit rating agencies will perform the credit rating process for all five borrowers and after that they will conclude yes. So we can offer the triple A rating to the loans because all are in a sound positions. They have a multiple income resources apart from their salaries and all. So there won't be any dent to the loans amount because actually this particular security is backed by this loans. Try to understand the logic. And then the banks, uh, credit rating agencies will offer the rating from there. And yeah, so we offer triple rating, triple A to uh, then the A, you know, this rating should be 
so which ratings that will be allocated eventually to the notes notes it means bonds bonds it means asset back end securities mbs rmbs and all okay okay so <clears throat> let's say in a in a uh, in a that the loan syndication process or loan uh, trading or loan there are a number of processes would be so what would be my role in a clo and cdo see there would be the different processes as i mentioned earlier trade processing trade settlement recon cash team uh, trust accounting right then the you and you can see this process at a custodian level trusty level right so where you can help uh, to manage the business operations and all and apart from that there would be credit rating process as well so where you don't need to do because if you join any uh, uh, fund admins and also there let's say sitco and other institutions here you don't need to do uh, the credit rating process and all for a financial products try to understand this you don't need to do this because so this already will be done by the jefferies and other crazy institutions and all so they will give you the access of their portal where you can pull this credit rating reports from their portals this would be done on a periodic basis maybe daily weekly monthly depends for every security there would be a period defined so you can access their portal download the reportings right and update that rating in the internal accounting platform maybe spv vehicle platform maybe other application also you can see so in that applications your job would be to update the rating because this uh, rating is not a permanent so it will be changed every quarter it will be changed if the situation of a company is not a good then the rating will be reduced this will continue it is a continuous activity the continuous changes will happen so we need to ensure that so we are updating the ratings in the system because on the basis of that we can think on it so if there is asset is risky or not okay so go through the triple e a a a and other other factors because i'm not <clears throat> going to do the sessions for all these rating parameters or else in upcoming time we'll do this if you request this okay okay so who can be the borrowers guys borrower it means home loan home loan uh, the owners or the home buyers would be again the borrowers because we actually borrow the loans and then we purchase the house if you purchase any vehicle then you would be again borrower if you apply for a credit card then you would be borrower or uh, once you utilize the credit card amount then that you would be considered as a borrower then the other would be the institutions and all uh, they like malla okay malla is also borrower because he took the loan and now he is denied to uh, you know to repay the loan so it means so in that case see if they if you see the case like malla and let's say the bank already converted Ma malla's assets into uh, the abs asset back end security and all so in that case see the challenge is like so now the malla is not able to pay the loans back to the bank so it means eventually it will have a effect on the abs instrument if the bank was converted that loan amount into abs and picked up the loans from the investor so it means eventually the abs holders asset back end security holders bond holders investment uh, would be in a danger in that case okay because that, then the, what is the job of rating agency so they will evaluate and once see if anybody is declared as a bankrupt then the rating would be d so that's the reason banks uh, the credit rating agencies borrowers special purpose they all are a very key segment or key uh players in this particular entire ecosystem okay so they uh, the credit rating agencies on a daily basis or monthly or maybe on a quarterly they evaluate and update the ratings and on the basis of that we think on it what we can do to best to protect the investment okay so that's how so now the if the mall has invested into the loans and that the loans converted into abs then the, that loan now you can check the rating for a loans would be definitely would be default rating okay okay so leave it so spv special purpose vehicle actually uh, the uh, one of the institutions who can helps all these market players to maintain or to convert this entire things into special purpose vehicle it means one pool so these institutions will help to convert banks to 1000 crores into abs mbs maybe other rmbs and other pool and this 
EBS MBS special purpose vehicle to sell to investors. These are the investors, so they will buy it. Maybe E B C. These are the investors, so they buy it. They buy the EBS MBS and all. So it buy it means they actually provide cash to the special purpose vehicle, right? And they will receive the notes. And then again, MBS amount will be transferred to the banks because bank want this money. See this, bank want this money. Maybe for ABS. MBS, right? Maybe other RMBS. Bank want the money, so bank will receive the money from the special purpose vehicle, and again banks will invest in or offer the loans to the borrowers. That's how this entire life cycle works. Okay, so I hope now uh, you know the you know who are the participant in this ABS, uh, RMBS, or uh, the securitization model. So I'll take you ahead and we'll see in the image. how it's work exactly wow it looks pretty good right now okay let's take example your special purpose is here special purpose vehicle is here see vehicle it means it just a pool account okay so don't be confused pool account pool account it means simply it's a bank account i know the words are like tricky one to understand pool and all okay pool it means we think that it's a bridge yeah you can understand in that way as well okay so bank account and who manages this bank account any entity let's say uh, abc llp want to manage this so it means llp manage uh, llp uh, abc llp will create one pool or one bank account <coughs> why because see the bank let's say hdfc originate the loans it means issue the loans to whom to the borrower maybe for a credit card a uh, home loan maybe for a auto loan machinery loan right business loan could be a number of loans and the borrower pay the principal let's say just assume it principal is around 1000 and the Ten uh, percent would be the interest payment, and that is on a per annum basis. So it means banks will receive almost hundred rupees for per month from the borrower, and that hundred rupees would be the cash flow for a bank. Okay. See, if your assets try to understand this, if your asset is not able to generate. the cash flow so it means nobody will invest in that ebs and mbs see guys investor always they look for a value if you are investor let's say there is the stock market is not offering any attractive return will you invest into stock market let's say bank deposit if the banks they are not offering the attractive interest payment to you will you still invest in the de that the uh, deposit facility no right always the investors the look for a wealth or how they can multiply their wealth or how they can generate the alpha alpha it means it's a income okay if the alpha is positive if the alpha is positive then only investors look for investment otherwise they don't so try to understand so if there is a attractive interest payment <coughs> is there on the asset because that this loan amount is the asset for a bank and the liability for a this guy borrower okay so so this on the basis of cash flow and the capital that the bank will receive as a principal plus interest rate so bank will try to convert this amount into the different asset class and bank will appoint one special purpose entity nowadays if you are working with a fund admin businesses and all the way means fund admins help fund managers to do the accounting and reporting of a business the similar way here the entity means bank will appoint one special purpose vehicle see this special purpose vehicle and let's say the abs llp decided to work as a special purpose vehicle in that case then special purpose vehicle will appoint
वन क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसी लाइक क्रिसिल वाई बिकेज वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट इट गाइज बिकेज एवरी एवरी every period so every assets will reviewed and analyzed by the credit rating agencies means every loans will review it every loans because if, let's say there are three investors initially let's say the rating was triple a so there was a five borrowers out of five so up to one quarter one declared as a default so now there are only four borrowers right so if the borrower declared as a default so it means it will take lots of time to recover that asset back so it means the special purpose vehicles will actually will uh, verify or go to the borrower and ask for a repayment and if it is not so they will they, they will uh, go through the different proceeding which is they can sell the assets of a borrower and try to recover the amount from the that particular sell proceeding but let's say the amount is 1 cr and the sell proceed amount is 80 so it means 20 lakh there would be a loss in that particular case so that's the reason bank will also if someone declared as a bankrupt or if you see any miscellaneous or any activity as a suspicious then the credit rating agency will reduce the rating for that particular instruments would be triple a maybe would be triple a only maybe bb triple b then bb then b c triple c c c c and d if the rating is d then it means it's a default so that's how the security agencies work right and they work with this uh, special purpose vehicle and they do it okay and apart from that uh, the other entity would be there other entity would be there to credit enhancement liquidity support and hazing because See, actually, bank will directly sell of asset to the special purpose vehicle. Directly means directly they will sell it, and they will take a loan uh, they, that the amount directly. So, bank will sell the loans, one thousand crore loans to whom? To the special purpose vehicle, and special purpose vehicle that is their job to convert that loans into ABS, MBS depends on the sectors or companies, RMBS. and any other notes or in a corporate that we call indentures or indent you can call indentures or else notes tranches tranche a b c d but yeah so simple it's a bonds right so forget about that the all the words because those are fancy words that the the other means you know the different peoples they use as indentures blah blah things okay so just forget about all these things just keep one thing in mind it's a security or it's an a just a document that the uh, the special purpose vehicle will create it special purpose vehicle will create it and a, that document will create and transfer it to the investor so it means issuance of securities to the investors let's say a b c and d investors so they will purchase it so it means they will buy it so once they buy it means they will send the money to the SPV and the SPV will transfer the money consideration so for asset purchase so we'll send it to the bank and then the bank will again reissue the loans to this so this is the cycle but guys why this uh, credit enhancement and liquidity support and hedging uh, entity come into picture because let's say if this selling process selling or conversion process takes times so then the uh, special purpose vehicles will take the help of other entity. could be hedge funds hedge fund managers and all or any other institutions and all to uh, to apply for a short loans or short cash facility from them and the offer to them and once the uh, the special purpose vehicle uh, will sell the securities to the investors and then that money will refund to the this institutions or else uh, so there's a special purpose vehicles and these two in institutions can work together also right here apart from that uh the uh, trustee would be see what happen exactly once you apply for a loans so your loans will be your loans will be uh offered and there would be a document right loan agreement that loan agreement will be with whom with the trustee trustee's locker right 
your all loan agreement should be in a trustee's locker so that all loan agreement original loan agreement bank will sell it to the special purpose vehicle that's the reason you are seeing here the vehicle okay so now special purpose vehicle has a original documents with the rights right and that rights that they are considering as a asset back in security then on that particular documents the special purpose vehicle can convert that the loans agreement into the securities and that securities will be issued to the investors okay and then after also custodian come into picture where the bank uh, the special purpose vehicles or the trustee come into picture so they can deposit all their loan agreement original loan agreement as well as abs and mbs docs with them right so uh, because here you may see the buyer and seller of a securities right it's an ongoing activity buy sell buy sell buy sell and all so buyer and seller will sell the security so it means so it's required a team who can exchange so this would be the pro from a processing point of view maybe at a custodian level you can see this so they will exchange the ownership of a securities on a time to time on the basis of the transactions let's say i was the buyer in first quarter but next quarter i sold that so now you are the buyer so it means the security will be transferred to you right so that's the reason trade processing team settlement team they work for a same purpose okay uh, fund managers funds they buy buy and sell the abs and mbs maybe on a quarterly basis maybe on a monthly basis so it depends so your job is to if you if you work with the fund admin so you record that security buy trade sell trade buy trade sell trade their interest payments <coughs> in the books of account maybe on accounting platform okay this is again another example just for a you know to to make you understand how it's work exactly and all special purpose vehicle actually issue the securities ebs mbs right <clears throat> then the uh, ebs and mbs will be issued to whom to the investors right these are the investors investor will pay the cash to the special purpose vehicle and that cash will be transferred to whom to the originator originator it means whom to the bank and then bank will again makes a loans so it means bank will transfer that loans to the home buyers so this is a cycle guys ongoing process we have discussed the purpose why the bank do this right because it banks main business is to to offer the more loans and loans if they have a demand of of their product means loans then definitely they will look for a money from outside the sources and abs is the abs is the instrument which helps bank to generate the again cash additional cash right on the loans here the bank will generate how the bank will generate see guys see the home loan rate is around 10% right and let's say the total amount is 1 cr so 10% would be 10 lakh so bank will receive 10 lakh as interest payment from the home buyer and that is on a yearly basis great then bank will offer the special purpose vehicle as a rate would be different okay rate would be different let's say the bank said so we are looking for a 4% so we want we want to sell you the all the loans with a 4% interest rate for a per annum or maybe it could be 3% so depends okay if the in instruments are more secured then the interest rate will be reduced so on a 3% interest rate bank will sell this security to the special purpose vehicle so it means 1 crore loan will be transferred to this and if you see the 3% would be 3 lakh right here the special purpose vehicle they charge the charges to the bank or originator okay and even abs holder so their income would be charges as well as special purpose vehicle try to generate the return from the differences as well now they have a quotation which is 3% or maybe 4% depends on the security class <clears throat> right for each let's say abs amount is 3% and mbs amount is around 4% right so they will negotiate with the investors maybe they can issue the notes on a 5 2.5% maybe mbs they can offer uh, to the this investor let's say on a 3.5% so 
so they can also generate the income from the rate differences so that's their main business okay they don't have a risk in this business they are just an entity who are supporting to banks and investor to raise the money and to generate the alpha for investor simple so they can generate you may if you uh, if you see if you apply for any uh, special purpose entity interview so you may expect questions on this framework how the special purpose vehicle they generate the return so they generate the returns from the differences right from a uh, interest rate differences as well as they generate uh, the returns from the or the alpha from the this activity because they charge the charges 1% 2% 3% depends on the loans or agreements between its counterparts okay <clears throat> okay so now i hope now you have a good understanding about all this and then what about the bank see that let's say the bank uh, deposit uh, the interest rate is around 5 uh, 5% or let's say 2% 2% and this 3% 5% will be the expenditure for a bank but still bank will have a 5% on this uh, 1000 crore one uh, sorry uh, the one crore investment so total let's say out of 10 for per month so bank will pay two percent it means two lakh to the deposit holder and two lakh to the abs holder uh, sorry three or four lakh to the deposit holder so five lakh will be paid to the that's two institutions and rest interest payment amount will be with bank and but if a bank do this continuously means issue the loans and issue the abs mbs see this and bank has a new business so think so in a from every transactions bank will generate five plus five plus five plus five so this will multiply so bank will be in a better positions to generate the alpha for themselves but the make sure again so bank will also make sure that they should have a business if they uh, raise the funds this is like a fund raising process like a ipo guys simple if you know the ipo process you can treat this event like a ipo there is a nothing apart from means uh, in an ipo also the bank uh, the institutions that issue, issued the capital through the ipo so it means they sell the security in the market and raise the capital here they are selling the loans in the market and raising the capital simple from the investor and the investor should be hedge funds mutual funds private equities so that's the reason this topic would be very important for us to understand in details okay and they generate the alpha so now we have covered end to end things about abs mbs the securities the types how it's work and everything so i'll take you ahead and still if you have any doubts you can call us i have given you my email id and number there so you can call us <coughs> okay in short so what would be key processes if you look for a job and all if you look for a job so you can apply for a trade processing trade settlement for abs mbs rmbs and all so that comes under the cdo cdo business collateralized debt obligations collateralized it means loans that we treat as a collateral right loans that we treat as a collateral <clears throat> debt it means that the uh, abs mbs that you can call debt instruments right fixed income instruments or debt instruments and obligation it means every counterpart has obligations to pay that on time or to re return that amount on time and also obligation it means it's a terms and conditions so all the cdus will be issued on a terms <clears throat> so combinedly we call collateralized debt obligations you can apply for a cdo businesses right here you may expect high salary as well so that depends if you are if you are a part of middle office operations then you may expect high salary if you have five years of experience you may expect 10 lakhs and if you're more than that and if you're looking for a avp or vp you may expect up to 15 to 20 lakhs the uh, sitco <clears throat> then the apex uh, especially i would say fund admins and investment banks all they have this department even custodians also with the custodians also you can see these processes where they actually helps uh, special purpose vehicles and banks and other institutions to maintain or let's say maintenance facility okay transfer of security from one account to another and all so you can see that activity with the custodian also then uh, interest rate processing interest rate basically because every quarter if it is an abs so we received the interest payment right and if it is received abs on a mbs or abs so that interest we record 
and in a fund accounting also as we know that we first of all accrued the in <coughs> interest payment and once we received then we accept the cash and that we all record on a pnl right so pnl it means pnl actually gives us the net profit right so this is again one of the key activity would be from a fund accounting side as well so from a fund accounting side you may expect two to three questions in interview on interest process on ebs mbs and all and how we record maybe accrued interest entry and all and for a loan syndication business process or abc a cdo business process you may expect questions on how the trade processing works and all all the abs and mbs they settle on a t plus two basis trade date plus two basis okay if you see any question on this now you would be able to answer reconciliation and all so here see rec recon process you may expect anywhere everywhere to match the cash against abs and mbs so that process would be debit and credit and match cash so matching process would be the and even the interest payment also should be matched if you have received interest payment statement versus leisure See, this is a technical language statement versus leisure that we try to match in the cash book. Okay. Uh, if you are a fresher, you don't require this technical language. But if you are experienced one, so you can call me separately. So we'll discuss in details because schedule sessions, we are offering customized sessions and also we can schedule it and discuss about it. Then security setup process would be because in accounting system, sometime if the funds, let's say you're, you're working with the XYZ fund and that the fund purchase first time that security that that security means eyes in won't be set up in your system so it means the security setup team will create a security they will verify the information from the bloomberg and other stock exchanges and all they will create the security in the books of account and then after you would be able to as a processor to book the uh, to book the trades in the system so actually to buy the buy and sell the securities in the books and match it accounting team let's say fund accounting team and also they require all these details to do the accounting for a product okay and credit rating process credit rating process those are the uh, processes where they actually maintain the data it's like to to pull the reports on a daily basis pull the reports from the uh, uh the decrease seal snp global jeffrey site right and uh, review the rating and if there is a change in the rating so you can send that report to the fund managers and you can update that rating in the system as well that would be your prime job to review match update to review match update simple so originator would be your bank asset pool would be uh, the documents that the uh, you know loan agreements that we uh, the will will create into the notes it means asset pool would be your loans agreement and that agreement the special purpose vehicle will convert into notes right credit rating the creasel and all they will review the, all the loans and the notes will be converted and issued to the investor in a class a class b class c all right means triple a rating bb rating cc rating all right here on e notes there won't be a much risk okay and if there is no risk there is no uh, nobody can offer attractive interest payment also here you may expect two to th one to two or two to three percent interest payment on b notes you may expect three to five and on c would be risky one four to five here you may expect the possibility of default as well so if and on the rate on the basis of rating the notes will be created and don't see don't confuse in this process notes it means it's a bond simple and bonds it means abs mbs okay and then it will issue to the investors and investor will pay so if you see all this if the all these entities are in picture it means you can see the different processes in picture as well where we work actually okay if you are a vp avp and all and if you are running this project so you should know this so what would be the possible processes and what they do exactly because if you see any escalation in your bin so you can reach out to the respective team and ask them to take a immediate action on it because sometime what happen if you don't know so which team what they work then in that case so where you can see the delay in a process or to respond to that particular escalation also so make sure that 
you are aware about all these processes and their key jobs and all so i'm not going to cover all this entire process here because it uh, i'll have to also ensure that the sessions wouldn't be long otherwise you won't be intact with these sessions for a long you won't be able to you know <coughs> to continue with the sessions for a long okay but yeah i would request please watch this till the end the key terms you may expect in an interview because uh, you may expect questions on this what is asset securitization the purpose of packaging a pool of assets and then selling interest in the pool in the form of asset backed securities we have discussed it so i'm not going to discuss again asset backed securities debt securities whose interest and principal payments are provided by the cash flows coming from a discrete pool of assets and why purpose to reduce financing cost to package and use the cash flow asset removed from the balance sheet and sold to the bankruptcy remote entity special purpose vehicle right and a uh, special purpose vehicle raises money by selling asset backed securities so we have discussed all these points in details <coughs> trustee a person or institutions designated by a bond issuer as the official representative of the bond holders important typically a bank serves as a <coughs> trustee we have discussed about all these points okay i am not going to discuss in details now that is we have discussed it so it will again make confused to you to understand at the end indentures don't be confused about it it's just a deed agreement or document or maybe you know uh, any any you know the paper which represent the value or which represent the terms or which has a, a value in that document we call indentures the legal agreement also called the deed of trust between the corporation issuing bonds means who is issuing the bonds and the bond holders establishing the terms of the bond issue and naming the trustee okay guys so all these terms you may expect questions here so i would say write it down right and read it because before apply for a interview and if you said and if you may expect questions then you would be in a better position if you practice it so right do the practice try to understand try to link all these terms with the discussions we we have discussed earlier right okay so i'll take you ahead and we'll see see this is the bond okay a bond is the contract or written agreement between the issuer of a bond and the bond holder of investor contract so which defines the quantity trade date settlement date principal amount interest payment cpt terms all would be here on this document and this document we call abs mbs and the bonds or notes and how it looks like most of the questions they raise the questions of how it looks like this is the bond see this 5000 dollar worth of rupees bond corporation issued this the interest payment right all the terms they have 5000 dollars bond they have given in this document you can go through it so this is a physical security guys why we won't be able to see that in the system because the issuing uh, issuing companies that deposit this security with the home with the depositories right and then depositories they convert this physical security into digital security and only that's the reason we see the quantity in the system okay so we'll develop session means as i committed will develop sessions on that part as well how the securities work how the securities convert and all and will give it to you don't worry about anything or else you can just join my telegram group okay join the join the telegram group so we'll discuss that part also okay yeah i'm done with the securitization part and i hope now you got this entire things how this securitization work and all trust me guys uh this is again one of the important you know terms that you should know most of the people they don't know how this work i have seen who, who is with this industry since last 15 years even they are not also aware about all this frameworks see eventually what is the main purpose of this activity just bank want to raise the fund simple to do more business think from the this perspective if the bank want to raise the funds they cannot ask for a loan to other institutions then what they will do they will find a way how they can raise the fund and do the business in the market simple think from it try to understand and then uh, you know be prepared for interview 
thank you for watching this <coughs> session and i'm sure uh, it was insightful you can like it as much as you can like it share it with other guys your cooperation and if you share this so means we would be able to spread this across because uh, what we see there is a big gap between industry and the women resources 90% professionals they have only 10% knowledge and the 10% professionals they have a 90% knowledge means nobody is complete but we we uh, want to make you at least you know the uh, in the 90% category 10% category where you can understand and explore yourself and accelerate in your career career growth comes with the knowledge and experience you're gaining the experience but you don't have a knowledge that doesn't mean uh, you will get a success because you are incomplete without it it should be a combo experience plus knowledge then you can expect output okay so, so in short uh, yeah we are, we are done with the session if you're looking for a personal training you can call us this is the number and mail id you can also invest uh, uh, that investigate if you want <coughs> call us all right discuss with the expert and join the training program if you're looking for if you are a student so we have a special program that we are launching so you can uh, you know contact us join us especially who are at the second year of their graduation or maybe if you're doing MBA first year and all or maybe second year you can join this program would be very beneficial to you because we are a working professionals we want to provide you input which can help you to understand the banking business in details on the base of that you can achieve your goals or you can do the job in your dream company I don't you think that you won't be a part of JP Morgan or MS and all if you then you can join the program you can contact us join the program we have a limited seats and again we are offering uh, the discount to the you know early birds who want to join the program and all process based trainings if you are experienced people then you can look for a process based trainings also right if you are freshers and experience again you can join our career guidance program so you can directly discuss with the experts your problems and all and get the resolutions for it if you're looking for interview preparation so we have this is for experienced and professionals people also you can join the interview preparation program right to discuss all the things you can follow us on a linkedin check my name or uh, search the page which is uh, fund accounting gmt academy and follow this because here also we post content follow the site which is ibfundaccounting.com here you can expect the blogs and all read the blogs so where we actually post all this information there also so you can read that from there and uh, if you want to join then you can call us join the telegram please here uh, more than 400 uh, i would say professionals are there from a different industry you can join that and ask for uh, you know openings and all so you will get a live status of openings from them so you get connect ask for a uh, uh, help right and connect uh, references and all they will provide you so join this group and i would say yes uh, shine it so I'm done with the sessions. I would expect your comments in a comment box, right? And I'm done with the session, guys. We'll see you next session on a different finance terms. Okay, maybe CLO loan. Uh, uh, in the next sessions, we'll try to cover the loan businesses, loan syndication businesses, how it's work, their important terms and all. And then I would say we'll have a complete knowledge of the uh, loan syndication business. Okay. Then we'll see you next session. Till now, so bye. And yeah, take care.